Oh man, welcome back to the channel everyone. I just got back from a power visit to Dallas, Texas. I'm still trying to recover from 10 hours down, 10 hours back and constantly being busy while I was down there. Forgive me if this video seems a bit rushed. Life is insane right now. Today I have a little bit of a blast from the past of our night vision series here on the channel with the night Fox Prowl. This is a device that Night Fox sent to me, gosh, what was it, 16 months ago? And for $200, I was pretty impressed with this night vision monoculars ability. Now, if I'm completely honest, it cannot hold a finger to some of the devices that have been on the channel since, such as the NVG30, the NVG50, and certainly can't touch this device, which we'll get into in a future video. But again, for $200, the Night Fox Prowl is the best introduction into digital night vision and night vision on a severe budget. Now, it should go without saying that this device is far from perfect. And at its launch, there were several issues with it, especially a firmware problem that caused the system to lock up. That was pretty quickly fixed by Night Fox with a firmware update. Another significant issue with the Prowl and a lot of other digital night vision devices was the visual lag when using the Night Fox Prowl in a very low light setting without the built-in infrared emitters or an external lamp. Well, Night Fox recently reached out to me and let me know that they came out with a firmware update that significantly improved this device's performance in low light settings without the aid of additional infrared light. I have a link down in the description to instructions on how to update the firmware on the Night Fox Prowl. Please note, however, that these instructions should only be used with the Night Fox Prowl. Don't try to update your Night Fox Swift 2 or your Swift 2 Pro it will brick the device. As I was updating the firmware and reading about the patch notes, I was also pleasantly surprised to see that it wasn't just fixing the visual lag of the device, but it was adding a couple filters and changing around some of the button mechanics. Aside from the visual lag correction, they added new filters, namely an inverted green filter and a white phosphor filter. I must say, and this is with all sincerity, the white phosphor filter is magnificent. I think it adds far more to this device and the contrast than any of the other filters. They also added a button functionality that if you long pressed the infrared increase button, it would change the filter. While that isn't that big of a change, it is a nice quality of life improvement, but that's all secondary to the visual lag correction that was made. So let's go ahead, head outside, brave the elements in this nasty March weird rain, ice, snowstorm that we're having, and I'll show you the improvements. Okay, I apologize for the wind. This is absolutely terrible out here. But this is just showing the lack of the lag with the new firmware update. This is just, this is fantastic. I, it's still not as good as the NVG30 or the NVG50. I am legitimately impressed. I really, really am. Because with the prior firmware, oh, that was just absolutely dreadful. You know, my dog is supposed to be out here. Um... Give me a second. I found her. <laughs> as far as usability, this is vastly better than it was. And this filter is fantastic. I know I cycled through them before in the B-roll, but I'll do it here again, just so you can see the different filters. So that's the black and white. There's the green, which I think they may have changed the green filter a little bit. And the next should be the inverted green. Oh, that is, that is interesting. It almost makes you think that it's thermal, but not. I, huh, that, I might have to play around with that a little more. And then we're back to the white phosphor. 
which I just I think that is a really good looking filter now it doesn't really do much for the sensitivity that's why you're still gonna need an infrared light I'm using the integrated 940 there at its lowest setting just to eliminate under my deck because without it you're still getting a very dim image in the poorly illuminated uh, areas excuse me I am cold I am not dressed for the weather right now it has been far colder this winter but it is I'm used to the 70s already and now we're back into the low 30s upper 20s this is bullcrap I'm going to try very hard to set aside my bias towards the NVG 30 the NVG 50 and this new digital device because they are in completely separate leagues being 450 500 dollars and almost $2,000 for digital night vision versus a measly $200 for the Night Fox Prowl. As I've said in the previous Prowl videos on the channel, this device absolutely works. It allows you to positively identify targets. It is just nowhere near as high fidelity as higher end night vision. In my opinion, this firmware update is essential. Frankly, the device should have launched with this version of the firmware. It makes it such a more usable product. If you have a Night Fox Prowl or you're looking to get one in the very near future, be sure to upgrade the firmware to the latest edition. It's 1.31. The difference is truly night or day. Oh, oh, dad jokes. Oh no. Again, I apologize if this video seems a bit hastily put together. We've got some awesome content coming. Aaron's coming out for a range day here soon. We're going to be shooting some more armor. We're going to be working on some reviews for a few different firearms for the channel. We are very excited to share those videos with you. Part two of the Bear Creek Arsenal 7.62x39 debacle is well underway in production. That has yielded a couple rather interesting results. And of course, there are a couple night vision videos in the works, perhaps a thermal video or two. Stay tuned. We have so much coming. Just have to get over a hump right now. I'll explain down the road, I promise. Stay tuned. That's going to do it for this video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing to the Phantom Llamas Den. Go check us out on X, Instagram, phantomllamasden.com. Go follow us on Twitch where we game and just get weird on the weekends. As always, don't take life too seriously and make it a great day.